Good morning, Charisma. Welcome back to our fasting and prayer devotionals. My name is Pastor Josh, and I represent District 1. This morning, I want to encourage us as we continue to fast and pray. Um, may we be inspired by the promptings of the Spirit and be encouraged by what the Lord is going to do this 2021. I know in these times of uncertainty, it's so easy to become self-interested and, and worrisome about whether the Lord is going to provide in this season uh, with what's going on in this country and what's going on in the rest of the world. It's easy to lose hope and wonder if you're going to make it into this season, how will we adapt? Will we have enough to provide for our families? Um, more and more, we are primed to be self-interested and self-seeking. But in this season of fasting and prayer, I want us to consider this, that God is our generous provider that as we continue to abide in him, he continues to care for us. In times of struggle, we often worry for our families, but God is ultimately the one who cares even more. Not only does he provide for our needs, he provides more so that way we can help provide the needs of others. Uh, inspired by, uh, from 2 Corinthians 9, 8, the Apostle Paul says, and God is able to bless you abundantly abundantly so that in all things at all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work verse 9 says as it is written they are freely scattered their gifts to the poor their righteousness endures forever so as we continue to seek and pray let our anxieties be soothed with the fact that knowing that god continues to provide for us that he wants us to partner with him so we can provide for those that he loves and I just want to let you guys know that as we continue to be generous in, in the way that we uh, handle our finances, finances in the way that we continue to care for others, God is generously pouring into our lives. Uh, whether it's financially, whether it's uh, physically, whatever it is, God is continually working in, your, in those times and in your needs. So let us continue to just be righteous and Christ-like and continue to just step forth doing what is good because as we continue to seek him to pursue him and continue to do what is right and just god continually gives us the way to do what we need to do let's just pray and uh let's just uh be inspired by what god has done this morning dear heavenly father we thank you for this time lord we thank you for your providence, Lord God, that in the past you have provided for us, in the present you provide for us, and in the future you will continue to provide for us. Father God, I just pray, Lord, would you soothe away any worries and anxieties? Let us be reminded that you care for us, that you love us, and that your grace abounds in our lives, that you are the one who abundantly gives and Father God, that you continue to give us purpose. Um, we pray, Lord, that as we continue to seek your purpose, may you uh, continue to just give us the strength and the convictions to do your will, Lord God. May we be generous in how we give, Lord God, because we know that we cannot outgive you, Lord God. Father God, you're continually giving into our lives and you're continually pouring into us. So my prayer is that we would be able to care for others and remove any selfishness in our lives that um, we can see your good works unfold we love you god we thank you and we're excited with what you're going to do this morning this week and the rest of this year we thank you in jesus name we pray amen stay blessed stay safe and we'll see you next time god bless